morning everyone it's such a pleasure it's such a pleasure to be here today among all you bright students it was not long ago that i was i was a student i am not sure about being bright but yes for sure uh, the whole palpitation of you know building something for your career studying and and making big i think is in your is in your mind and today i would like to take you through my journey of you know how just being attentive to overall problems that we have amongst us how can you you know focus and how can you create a career out of it and create an impact in the world my name is taranjit i am the founder and ceo of agnext a company which is working on providing data solutions in agriculture well today uh, you know when i was told that we need to talk in ted uh, it was very important for me to you know stitch my entire life and uh, as nikola tesla once said that who understands the numbers of 3 6 and 9 can actually understand the code of the universe so what i did is i just try to stitch my entire life in in triads in numbers of 3 so you can understand what i have been doing and what i intend to do with the power of data the first thing about talking is you know in our ancient systems in in our culture it is known that you know there is one supreme being called brahman but then there are multiple deities uh, that sit within an ecosystem in order to solve for the whole ecosystem uh, perfectly my professor at iit khadakpur was a father of reliability engineering who taught me a very simple concept of understanding or, or creating an ecosystems solutions by understanding that who creates who maintains and who destroys which is brahma who creates vishnu which maintains and shiva which destroys and if you look at an agriculture ecosystem we can divide that into brahma which means all the farmers which create in the upstream vishnu which is all the middlemen which you know maintain the f- the whole flow of food and shiva which is the consumers which finally consume the food so the food moves through this value chain and this is what we need to understand that where is the largest impact and for that you need data and when i came back to india in 2016 what i found is that you know there is only data knows where is data because not much of data was available in order to solve agriculture so how do you prioritize and build something as large as agriculture the first thing that we saw is that most of the value is being created when food moves from a farmer to a consumer the the entire 80% of your value is created at a midstream which is basically your warehousing your storage your processing and this is where 80% of the value add happens and hence the biggest problem that you can solve is in this segment and hence we went on to you know solving what we are talking about solving agriculture with data but before i come back to what i came and did i want to take you back to three dates which i remember which have kind of formed me of who i am the first was my graduation ceremony at iit khadakpur which was 21st june 2002 where you know i stood there and i questioned because when you look at this building of iit khadakpur if you just zoom in there right there at the front of the building is written dedicated to the service of the nation this was the first iit in 1950 and i questioned myself what is that i am going to do when i graduate today to solve for the nation and that day i chose to work in the field of agriculture and i worked in multiple 
rural settings in order to understand agriculture deeply and try to find the problems to solve it. My second date came on 27th April 2003 when actually I saw a farmer and his son coming to sell on a bullock cart all the produce that they had done in the last five months. They were, they were waiting outside a mandi for more than 10 days in the extreme summer, sleeping under the bullock cart, asking the Arpia to buy it and the Arpia was not willing because he said aapki quality kharaab hai or your quality is not good, which was not the case because I knew what the quality was good but it was just that that he was trying to bargain and break his backbone to sell at 40% of the price and just go back, which he eventually did. This left a very indelible mark on me that, you know, if this is the situation, what is the situation of the, you know, 50 crore who are selling daily basis with this kind of no technology. And the third, date which was the most exciting I think which was on 18th December sitting on some mountain city in a very uh, small theatre was the release of the movie Swades which was my favourite movie at that time, I guess till now, was about we the people. All the education that we do or we have done, what do we come and do for the nation? This is what was very clearly depicted by Shah Rukh Khan in that movie, the protagonist although goes back to NASA and comes back, uh, I, I was not, I had not gone to abroad by then, so that was the only difference. But it, it struck me that, you know, all us who, who study so much to learn technology should do something for the nation. And I think that's what Shah Rukh kind of told me, solve agriculture. So, it's a, it's a very, uh, it's a very, uh, I mean, uh, thanks Shahrukh, wherever you are. <laughs> he just made a movie, but for me it was about, you know, how can I come back and move, do something for the nation. So I have, for that I had to go out. So I just simply didn't have money. So I did my MBA from IM Calcutta and then I was abroad for nine years. And 2016 I came back to India to start Agnext. And this is where the journey begins. Solving three stakeholders. If I talk about a farmer, all the middlemen in the middle and all the consumers. This is a simple value chain in any food system. You will see that whatever a farmer grows in five months, he has to sell in just five minutes. That's how. So it's like akin to whether you are the topper of the class or the last of the class, you will get the same job. Imagine for 50 crore people, that's what happens after, you know, on a salary day. It's just given like five months, whatever you have done, that's the, that's the price, take it or leave it. Similarly, when, when we talk about the middles, uh, which is all the processors, millers, warehouses, everyone, for them, it's such a problem to actually buy the right food. And most importantly, today, our food systems are broken. The supply chains of COVID has already shown that the entire food systems uh, need a total digitization. And uh, adulteration is at peak in not in only in our nation, but everywhere. Whether it is milk, whether it is grains, whether it is pulses, you will see adulteration being one of the main reasons that our food systems are causing health concerns also. This is not sustainable. And we solve this by basic principles. The basic principles being that any transaction that you do, anything that you buy, has two axes, an axis of quantity and an axis of quality. The quality is entirely subjective in the food value chain. When you buy spices, when you buy coffee, anything that you buy, it is all subjectively assessed while you need to assess it digitally on the spot. This is the technology that we went on to solve by bringing in the best of the technologies over the last six years. And we built three technology stacks. So any food, if you can analyze entirely 360, this is what we wanted to solve uh, first in our, in our build up to agriculture uh, overall platform. The first we did is we are today the 
a leader in spectral sciences where actually you can do more than uh, 45 commodities. Uh, this is a new technology which uses artificial intelligence and a concept called spectral sciences which gives you an immediate chemical analysis. We build the largest computer vision which is which is more than 3 million food samples and uh, created a platform in the end or rather a platform of delivery which included training of more than 2000 people which included entire analysis uh, on AI on the edge devices and integration with multiple labs. Now when all of this integrated we created a platform which can be deployed wherever food is getting bought or sold and this platform today sits at more than 2000 odd locations in India and more than 500 locations globally and uh, this solves this solves for what probably 40, 30 years back the milk revolution did for India because milk revolution when it was brought into India the first thing that they did was analyze quality and that's how the quality of milk gave the right price to the farmer imagine for all the commodities this is what Agnex is doing or this technology is doing and this will take the first technology from India to more than 200 countries in the next three years. I just wanted to give a snapshot maybe uh, that video uh, which gives you an idea about you know how the technology works but uh, which is basically computer vision and spectral sciences. These are the devices that we have made uh, over the last six years and uh, now deploying globally. So the whole idea was creating data of analysis and I think in the last six years with more than three million data points our, our mission has created that technology which can now give the data points that are needed for the midstream to act with much more objectivity and much more profitability. And what is the final benefit that these stakeholders are getting? With this the farmers get the right price or rather a fair price. And this is what we believe would be one of the largest impacts because once the quality is evaluated the farmer is given higher price for a higher quality and lower price for a lower quality. This incentivizes the farmer to create quality and take India to the next level of quality exports. All the middlemen today that we are working and I won't call it middlemen but the custodians of you know the food as it moves from a farmer to a consumer. Uh, anything between 4% to 30% of overall transaction value can be can be saved using our technology and this is what is a much larger uh, I would say value will bring to the food chains in India. And the most important you know I have two kids so I'm, I'm concerned about their health, I'm concerned about their future, I'm concerned about India, I'm concerned about you know how our food systems are. The biggest, once the quality is evaluated, the adulterations are checked, wrong quality is checked and this is where we believe that food safety and food sustainability or the right food is what we are bringing to the consumers in India and globally. Although you can see that there are three beneficiaries but there is one thing that is left. Uh, as I always say, Anything that you build, it should be Loka, Samastha, Sukhino, Bhavantu, which means that it should be for this, all the stakeholders. We have missed one stakeholder here. While we deployed these solutions all over India and world, uh, they were deployed by sons and daughters of farmers. Today, we have 1600 sons and daughters of farmers who are working with us on ground, who are getting jobs and who are working with us to take the next level AI technology to our food value chains. You can see how they are working 
on the spot, we train them, we give them devices, we give them technology, and we have just started with new innovations where they are becoming entrepreneurs. And I think this is what is one of the biggest uh, impact of any data solution or any solution which sits at the transaction of buying and selling, that you can take it, make it universal and take it to multiple countries globally. And I believe that today this is 1,600, tomorrow it will be 16,000. And it is waiting. It is waiting for new technologies to be brought in. And that's what we are talking about. You know, for all innovators like you to come and solve together with us. The six takeaways that I want you to take from this small presentation of mine is that, you know, you always solve ecosystems or micro ecosystems. But think an ecosystem perspective when you are solving something. That's very critical because that's how you touch impact, that's how you touch all the stakeholders in within an ecosystem. Always solve yourself. I, I, I could solve your, myself by just, you know, those three dates, uh, which told me, you know, I, I connected my dots and I knew that this was the only thing that I needed to do. I think you need to create that conviction within you that this is what you want to do. That's why so, for any entrepreneur or, or for any innovator solving himself or herself is the most important thing when you start on this journey. Solve for the largest impact. We had multiple problems, but we chose to only focus on one thing and then scale it globally. Solving multiple problems does not solve anything. Solve one, but make it big. Solve with first principles. As you have seen, all our solutions are solved with very, very extreme first principles. And today we are sitting on more than 20 patents, taking it to more than 70 in the coming in the coming two years and that's a massive number of patents to you know build uh, in the food value chains and uh, as i said keep your heart open always solve loka samasta sukhino bhavantu is what always think that if your solution can touch anyone in the ecosystem and even if they have you know 5% of value add i think you have done your work so always think with these six takeaways, but where's the sixth one? I think I have just told five. The sixth one is create something for the sons and daughters of farmers. Ladies and gentlemen, our India, I mean, resides in, in rural. There are, you know, millions and millions of sons and daughters of farmers who are ready to work with you, who are who you can give technologies which they can take all over all over the place. I think think solutions, work with our platform where you can build these solutions and deploy through the sons and daughters of farmers. So this is my request that all innovators come together and build something for the nation here. And this is what I want to say, what will you solve? That's your question. Thank you.